guys, we're going to start by cooking our pasta. Now, I use uh, spaghetti pasta, okay? If you don't have spaghetti, you can use whatever you like. That's up to you. It doesn't have to be spaghetti. But that's what I am using today. And I'm just taking a handful. You make according to the size of your family. I'm going to break it in half. Drop it into the boiling water. Put a little bit more. And I'm going to cook it for 10 minutes. You want it still a little bit of al dente. Not too much. But we don't want it mushy either. Okay? Because we still want it kind of firm for the salad. So we're going to let this cook for 10 minutes. Okay, we're going to give this a mix. And we are going to add some uh, salt. We have quite a bit of salt in here. Salt your water. So you can salt your pasta. Okay, we're going to let this go. And I'm going to transfer you over so we can make the salad dressing for this recipe. Okay guys, the pasta is ready and I am going to drain it. And this is one time where I will tell you to run cold water over the pasta. And that's so you can stop the cooking of the pasta and it won't get mushy on it. Okay, and that's good, just like that. And while it's sitting here, we are going to sprinkle just a little bit of oil so that it doesn't stick. And we are going to transfer it into our bowl. I just want to make sure that it's drained real well. Okay, and then just set it aside. Okay, let's get going on the rest of the stuff we have for this pasta. Okay, we're going to start with our dressing. What I like to do for the dressing is, I had some lemons that I had used the zest for, so of course I'm not going to throw them away. I'm going to use the, the juice of one lemon. We're going to get those seeds out in a minute. It's going to be real citrusy, real flavorful, fresh flavors that we like for the summer. Okay, and also we're going to zest about half of this lemon, not too much. Make sure you don't get the pit. Okay, that should be enough right there. Just like that. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, now to the salad dressing, I am going to add... And this you will adjust. I'm going to add about a, a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add some pepper to the lemon. You adjust it to your liking. I'm going to add some Italian seasoning. About a half of a teaspoon. And some garlic. And then we are going to add in our olive oil. Okay. Now whisk it as you're putting the olive oil in so that it emulsifies. Okay, now we're done with that. To the rest of the salad, what we are going to add, I have everything here already all cut up. I have some cherry tomatoes. I have some celery. Now you adjust this the way your family likes it, okay? If you don't like celery, well don't put the celery in, put something else. I have some uh, Kalamata olives and just an assortment of olives. May not put all of them. Okay, I have some red bell pepper. Now if you want to put a variety, you know, the yellow, the orange, that would look very pretty. Now I have some uh, purple onion. And like I said, you adjust it, to, you know, the vegetables to what your family likes. Now, I took a little shortcut and I just bought the, these pepperoni minis. You could buy, you know, the slices from the deli and cut it up yourself. But, you know, this is already in good portion sizes. So, I'm going to put that all in there. And I'm also going to put some basil from my garden. And I'm just going to roll this up. And chiffonade it real small. So that we're able to distribute it throughout the salad. Okay. And you put it in your salad. 
Now, we're gonna add a little bit of salt. We had already added some salt to the dressing, but I know that's not enough. So we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit more of some salt. And then you taste as you go. Now we're gonna give this a good mix. Let me clear this stuff up and I'll be right back, okay? So now we're gonna give all this a good mix. And of course the, the noodles are loose because we put a little bit of olive oil in them so that they wouldn't get sticky and mushy and that's what you don't want. Look at that, that looks already delicious already. And this is a good salad for a picnic because it doesn't have mayonnaise. Okay, there we go. I think that's pretty good portions for the salad. Okay, now we are going to add our salad dressing. I'm going to give it another whisk. Okay, give this a good stir. I can already smell all the spices in here. It smells delicious. And this salad, to me, the longer you let it sit, the better it tastes. That's my opinion. I, I've left it overnight, make it the night before, and it's delicious. Okay, now I like to add some cheese. Now the cheese, add whatever you like. If you want mozzarella, you can put provolone. Um, cheddar, well, it's not really gonna go too good with this salad. I like to use crumbled feta. This is just my choice, and I put it in at the end so that it doesn't make the salad, you know, cloudy looking. And if there's some pieces that are too big, I just break them up a little bit. Put as much or as little as you want. Give it another mix. And there you go, guys. That's it. Real easy salad for the summer. Look at that. Let me give you a close-up. Delicious. Okay guys, I'm gonna plate this up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, look at how cute this looks, plated up in this plate. And I did taste it and I did add just a tiny little bit of salt, but other than that, it was just the way I like it. I hope you enjoyed the video today guys. That's gonna be it, just a real quick video for you today. Something simple, get you out of the kitchen real quick. You could even serve this with a piece of baked chicken on the side or just have this as a meal itself with some crostini bread that would make a delicious meal okay guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel the button's going to be right there and um please go follow us on facebook and instagram at virtual kitchen with laura i will leave the items that i use down in the description bar below along with the recipe please share the videos guys with family and friends that sure helps us get recognized here on youtube and helps people find my videos i appreciate it okay guys talk to y'all later be safe bye